Daryl Davis was taken into custody without incident just moments after police arrived at that location to serve the warrant and is now being taken back to the police station for questioning. An influx of tips for Fort Wayne police today after releasing surveillance pictures of the men they consider persons of interest connected to Allen County's latest homicide. And Fort Wayne's NBC News has just learned that police did serve that warrant for 38-year-old Daryl Davis, the suspected shooter, they say, in the case. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. Police say they arrested Davis just after 5 this evening in the 100 block of River Cove Trail. We're told police will charge him with murder. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter uh, Corinne Rose has the latest on the investigation and how police say they are still counting on the community's help. We have ID'd some of the other people involved. It's been a whirlwind 24 hours for detectives investigating Wednesday morning's convenience store shooting death of 22 year old Stefan Holland. We got an avalanche of um, responses back from the public. After sharing these security camera photos of five men considered people of interest in the homicide, Fort Wayne police are now sifting through all those tips. We go from the top down, so if this matches this, then I think we mo they move forward on things a lot quicker than if we have to start from scratch. So they'll start with those really good tips that kind of solidify the information they already have, and then they go from that process and move forward. Homicide team detectives want to question the men in the images about what happened inside the quick shop at the Shell gas station at State and Hobson Road. Holland died at the scene after being shot in the chest during a brief argument just inside the door. What investigators would like now is to find people who were in the area in order to help fill in the big picture. And there's always the possibility that those witnesses are out there, whether someone was sitting on the lot or across the street or watched people run into a certain car or to a certain building. Um, those are always great tips to have. And then we can kind of combine them with tips that come in and then knowledge of what we have from um, already going through this process of the investigation. She says if previous cases are any indication, she believes the homicide team of detectives will make arrests in Holland's homicide soon.